بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم dear brothers and sisters peace and blessings be upon you today is the 12th day of the month of Ramadan and the dua for this day is as follows بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم اللهم زینی فیه بستر والعفاف او الله on this day beautify me with covering and chastity وسترنی فیه بلباس القنوع والكفاف and cover me with the clothes of contentment and adequacy. وَأَحْمِلْنِي فِيهِ عَلَى الْعَدْلِ وَالْإِنصَافِ And let me adhere to justice and fairness. وَآمِنِي فِيهِ مِنْ كُلِّ مَا أَخَافِ And keep me safe from all that I fear. بِإِسْمَتِكَ يَا إِسْمَتَ الْخَائِفِينَ By your protection, Oh, the protector of the frightened. In the very beginning a statement and phrase of this dua, you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to beautify you by covering and chastity. In the very beginning a statement of this dua, in the first phrase, you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to beautify you with covering and chastity. Sitr and Ifaf, two words that are used in the very first sentence, they have specific meanings in Arabic. Sitr means curtain, or it's an item that is used to cover other items. And Ifaf, it might mean continence, but the general meaning, the more accurate definition of Ifaf is any type of internal determination that forces you to refrain from any sort of crimes and sins. If off is that self-restraint when it comes to what is considered to be haram. And if means keeping the balance in the life and not falling into the extremes from both ends. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to beautify us by Sitr and Ifaf, these beautiful attributes and qualities. وَاسْتُرْنِي فِيهِ بِاللِّبَاسِ الْقُنُوءِ وَالْكِفَافِ The reason for many of the scandals, for many of the issues that people face is because they don't have Qunu' and they don't have Kifaf. They don't have contentment and they don't have Adequacy. Avarice is an extreme greed for wealth and material gain. The opposite of the contentment and adequacy, where you're satisfied with what you have. It's a virtue in Islam to avoid avarice. Brothers and sisters, one of the main issues and challenges we all face as the youth living in the West is that our dreams usually end in getting good degree, beautiful large house, that certain financial class, certain occupation or job, while the attraction of all these will fade away once you achieve, once you achieve them. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can help us, can cover us with qunu and kifaf so that our dreams can elevate high. وَحْمِلْنِي فِيهَا عَلَى الْعَدْلِ وَالْإِنصَافِ And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to free us from the chains of this world so, can, so that we can adhere to justice and fairness. Who can adhere to justice? The person who is freed from qualities like avarice, bad attributes like avarice, when I'm freed from the chains of this world, then I can spread justice. Why? Because injustice is usually spread when we have that greed for extreme wealth and material gain in this world. Justice and fairness, both are directly related to the safety and security within the Islamic community. وَآمِنِي فِيهِمْ إِنْ كُلِّ مَا أَخَافِ Keep me safe from all that I fear. In regards to describing the mu'mineen, the Holy Quran says, لا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون. 
They don't have sorrow and they don't have fear. Sorrow belongs to what we have done in the past. The mistakes that we have made, when we think about it, we wish we go back to that certain period in time and maybe wouldn't do what we have done in certain situations. Fear is about what to come in future. We are not sure what's going to happen. Then we are scared. So mu'mineen do not have sorrow and do not have fear. Why? They don't have sorrow because they are sure they have acted upon their duties in the past. And they don't have fear because they have tawakkul on Allah. They rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the future. And that relying on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguards their fears about what, to, what is to come in the future. So these are all related. Setra and Ifaf will be the reason for being able to have Qunu' and Kifaf. And then if you have all those four qualities, on this 12th day you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you the obedience and adherence to justice and fairness. And then if justice and fairness is prevailed, then you are safe from all that you fear, which is to come in future. By your protection, O the protector of the frightened. بِإِسْمَتِكَ يَا إِسْمَتَ الْخَائِفِينَ وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ وَبَرَكَاتُهُ